Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we have another uh, DIY which is very easy to do. We have this pantry here um, and it's a very small uh, cupboard that we have on the side of the fridge and uh, the shelves are very deep and it's just a wooden shelf so it's very hard to reach inside especially for the racks on top I'm not able to reach and, and pull out anything I need. So we want to make this more functional um, so right now what we're going to do is install pull out shelves in all of these um, in all of these cabinets um, as you can see even in the lower ones it's very hard to go I have to go all the way down and then put my hand in and pull anything out you have to pull all of the things out in front so that you can reach at the back so it's very problematic so we are going to install um, the pull out shelves and uh, we bought them from Costco um, and they're going to make, change the space a lot, we make it more functional so we'll just be able to pull out all the shelves and uh, use this pantry more efficiently. So the uh, pull out shelf that we got from Costco is this one from Richard Liu. This is an adjustable pull out kitchen cabinet organizer. One box has one shelf. As you see it can be easily adjusted in the width from uh, 12.5 um, inches to 20.2 inches. Uh, but the length will remain the same. So if you have the same um, length but wider cabinets, you can still use this up to 20.2 inches. Um, so we're going to just see what's inside this. So nothing in here. Okay, so we have the shelf and it comes with these slides. We just need to cut these zip ties here. We have a set of screws, then the two drawer slides, uh, an instruction manual, and then we can throw it. And this is how it can be adjusted. The first step is um, this is the adjustable shelf, and these are the slides. So these uh, the slides have two hinges, and um, like you can see there are two notches over here so basically these hinges will go into these notches very easy just have to align the notches and then push onto it so that it just gets uh, into those two notches and then this side is done similarly for the right hand side um, yeah so to make sure it's pushed yeah okay it's now pushed and uh, according to the instructions they are asking us to unscrew just loosen these 10 screws so five on each side these are five here and five here um, but we didn't loosen these screws but still we were able to open the shelf and close it and whatever width we want we, are, uh, we should be good with it now for attaching the pull-out shelf to the cabinet, what all tools we need. So first we we need a drill uh, drill driver. So this is a Ryobi uh, drill. You can use any drill for that matter, but uh, this has been with me for a long time and um, really works well. And I also have an impact driver. The difference between a drill and an impact driver is the drill does not have a lot of torque as compared to an impact driver. Drill is used for basically um, drilling in through um, like drywall, wood or doing some pilot holes. Whereas impact driver is used for screwing um, like um, Phillips head or uh, hex screws into wood for example or studs. So basically if you want to uh, drill a long three inch screws into a stud directly so an impact driver is used a drill won't have that much power into it and there are different speeds on a drill uh, which you can set depending on what you are using it for so we'll be starting off with drilling a pilot hole into our cabinet uh, and then we'll be using the provided screws to uh, uh, install the adjustable shelf so for the pilot hole um, they haven't mentioned the drill size uh, but I'm using a 564 inch uh, 
drill so this is a very small uh, drill bit uh, just for pilot hole so basically pilot hole what um, what pilot hole does is that it creates a very small hole not all the way through the cabinet but just the starting point so that the screw can easily uh, go into that hole and then uh, we can tighten the screw and the um, shelf will be installed in that phase yeah so the drill also has two modes this is one which is uh, lesser power and then if i move it to two then it's more torque um, and power so i'll just leave it to one and then uh, we'll start with the pilot holes and we need to do four four pilot holes on the right and four on the left so there are uh, we just need to do four holes and they have given us a lot of options to uh, do the pilot holes so these are we can do it anywhere any of these uh, holes which they have provided next i'll be using my impact driver to uh, install the screw so this is a phillips head and then this is an extension bit which I have used um, on the drilled hole. Uh, let me see if I can get this into the hole. Yeah. Okay, so I'll not tighten it fully right now. Um, so one screw and one hole is done. Similarly, I'll be doing it for the other three holes on the right hand side this pull out shelf is installed and uh, we do not have to put any corner brackets because it is being supported by another shelf which is built into this cabinet but for this shelf since it's adjustable and it moves even though it is supported by these clips on the sides as per the manufacturer's instructions we need to put in a corner um, bracket so these are the corner brackets which i already had so these are two inch corner braces look like these um, they are not provided with this particular shelf but if you see the instructions that is what they have suggested to use if you have a kind of a shelf like it's an installation shelf in a pantry um, so if your shelf moves then it is suggested that you install one corner bracket uh, from underneath and one from the top on the right so that the shelf will not move and Additionally, it will take the weight of this new pull-out shelf and also the stuff which you'll keep in it So uh, we'll be installing these uh, corner brackets first um, very easy to install so these I Have had these small screws which I'll be using and each bracket needs four screws so using my impact driver um, we'll just hook on to this one it's a Phillips head so we'll place the uh, corner bracket a little inside so that it's not visible enough uh, and then we'll simply screw it in um, one from the one from underneath And now I'll put one corner bracket on the far right corner on the top. Now you can see that this shelf which was moving earlier, now it's completely fixed with the cabinets from the under, uh, underneath and as well as from top. So now we can install our uh, pull out shelf here. Yeah, so we'll start with the pilot drill.
so the right side is screwed in but the left side is not and now we can push this um, side like basically open this up <laughs> okay yeah so we have pushed it to the maximum and now we'll see if it's able to open it but get stuck on this door here so we'll just push it back a bit and yeah now this is okay but we can we still have some room on the left hand side we can open it a little bit from both the sides perfect and now we just need to screw in on the left hand side so using our drill we'll drill a pilot hole Check it once before we. Okay, looks good. Now, just repeating three more times. Now we'll tighten these screws at the back and on the front and our adjustable shelf is installed installed all of the pull-out shelves and this is how they are looking as you can see we can just pull them out and there's all of the stuff in there and then we can just slide them inside easily so this makes it very easy to reach places that were hard to reach before similarly here and we have organized the stuff with categories so we have all of these things here even the lower shelves i don't have to bend as much to pull these out so we hope you liked our video uh, this is a very easy and helpful way to organize our pantry um, if you have a smaller pantry like this do think about this idea um, and you can easily get these shelves in costco or any of the other hardware stores or even on amazon i put the link down below for these um, hope you liked the video and um, thank you for your love and your support. Please like, subscribe and share and we'll see you next time. Bye!